This is Twit. I think everybody should have an intensity slide. <laughs> Yours is always to the right. It's, 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 it's on one edge of the slide either way. I saw um, this in their notes and I'm like, what the heck is an intensity slide? <laughs> so it's just a slider. I'm sorry, that was a, a typo in my part. Okay. So if you think about what HDR is, HDR is something that gives the colors pop. It's typically right. used in like movies, right? This big thing. Mm -hmm. And then in video games, right? Um, Windows 11 and 10 support HDR displays. They do auto HDR. Yeah. They have all these different things. Um, the problem is like sometimes it, HDR can be too much or too little, mm. you know, depending on mm. your needs or wants. And so um, now they're, they're, they are, I should say, now they have added, I guess they have added uh, to the Xbox game bar, which by the way, speaking of an interface that could come up on top of other things, I don't know how that's written either, but I mean, it's a newer interface. It's probably written in something <laughs> semi-modern. Um is going to allow you to uh, change the value, the, the amount of intensity that you see in the colors um, so you can make it to your liking. I think that's a good idea because it's doing HDR automatically, uh, but it may be a jarring experience. So they, they're kind of toning down the jarring or toning it up. It's up to you. You can adjust it if you want. That's a good idea. I've always wanted that kind of thing. I've never understood why it's there. You see my eyes glazing over? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, man. Talk about incremental features. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. You know, oh, it's funny. Hold on. I have an even more incremental feature. Oh, good. All right. Oh, good. Fire when ready. Go ahead. This is, Bring it. Yeah. So in, <laughs> yeah, you thought that was bad. Okay. Um, at least this is one you might want to see. So... I think we all know, or hopefully we know, that when Windows 11 came out, one of, one of the many regressions was that what is now called widgets no longer supported that uh, temperature and weather display right on the taskbar. A lot of people complained, and so Microsoft responded by adding it back. But what they didn't do was give you the temperature information <laughs> that you used to see in Windows 10. It was just a little weather indication. Like, you could see a little cloud or a sun or something. So... They actually shipped this feature in Stable uh, on Patch Tuesday. So one of the little things they shipped was it will now display the temperature. And because it's Microsoft, not consistently with the way it looks in Windows 10, God forbid, it's, um, I don't know what you call it, it's like a, it's an overlay on top of the icon instead of being next to the icon. Because it's still just an icon. It's not a, a bigger, you know what I mean? It only, it only occupies the amount of space an icon can occupy. But does it have an intensity slider? I just no, am like, who actually cares? <laughs> Does anyone? Well, we're at peak windows. So now I, we are. We are. Yeah. This is what we have now, right? Yep, this, this is, is what we Listen, got. this is way more interesting to me than our dynamic <laughs> stuff we were going over earlier. Hey, oh, man. Oh, boy. Hey, you're, you're, oh, this boy. is why you're in the old era and you're not a <laughs> yeah. modern man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, oh, wow. Okay. Just saying. <sighs> I'm okay with it. 